My name is Dan Ryan. I'm a postdoctoral fellow here at Nimbus. I'm currently researching the question, what role do species movement strategies have in determining ecological community structure? So most environments are heterogeneous in space. There's variation between what's over here and what's over there. So, I mean, this could be in the form of population distributions. There may be more rabbits here than over there. Could be in the form of background environmental factors like access to water or what the weather is like. Um, so where an organism spends its time in the environment really matters. I mean, it matters in terms of access to resources, um, what kind of risk factors it's exposing itself to. But I think most importantly, it, it influences what type of ecological interactions it's going to have with other organisms in the environment. So for a long time now, biologists and ecologists have been using uh, mathematical models for population dynamics and ecological interactions. The simplest of these models just treat space or ignore space completely by averaging everything out. Um, there are more detailed models that explicitly model the heterogeneous space and how an organism disperses through it. And there's been a fair amount of research with these types of models looking at the best way for an organism to move in a heterogeneous environment. Now they're always approaching this from sort of an optimal control perspective, like how, what's my best way to move around this static environment? I think in reality, it's more of a game. It's one organism having a strategy, but its strategy is going to depend on other organisms that also have their own strategies. And these strategies may be in conflict. So you could imagine lions wanting to go where there's lots of gazelle to eat, but the gazelle are going to have a strategy quite opposite to that. So this actually leads not to this optimization problem, but more of a game theory problem. So I've decided to take these classic mathematical ecology models and put an extra game theory layer on top of them. So now each organism chooses a movement strategy from kind of some set of viable strategies. And then you can run the simulations with or do analysis with these strategies in the model and see what the end result is. Um, so right now I'm looking at kind of a static strategy model where when an organism picks a movement strategy, it sticks with it until the end. Um, and this leads to a classical game theory formulation then. So the payoff is at the end if they end up being excluded from the community or maybe they push all their competitors out or there's some sort of coexistence. We can measure some sort of how well the strategy did from the results of those models. Ultimately, I'd like to move to more of a dynamic strategy type situation where each organism starts with some strategy, but then they can adapt it over time when they see what other organisms are doing. But this leads to something much harder mathematically. It leads to differential games, and I'm not quite there at exactly how to work all of this in yet. So I'm also looking at incorporating other non-movement type of strategies into the situation because I've seen in the simulations that it could really kind of interact with these movement type strategies. So for instance, suppose you have two species and one is a bit bigger so it can bully the other one. Um, if they're in some sort of competitive scenario, it might benefit the bully species to be extra aggressive towards the smaller guy. And in turn, if the smaller species was employing some sort of movement strategy that was, I'm going to stay where there's lots of resources and no one is attacking me and move out of the way when things get hairy and I'm under attack, the bully could end up occupying the good part of the environment, pushing the smaller guy out and kind of taking all that for himself. Whereas if the smaller guy had a movement strategy, I'm just going to wander around randomly and not care what happens to me, this kind of hyper aggressiveness wouldn't lead to the same sort of end distribution. So there's a real interplay between all these different behavioral strategies at many levels, and they all have a drastic impact on the end ecological community structure that you end up seeing. So ultimately, I'd like to take this um, game theory model on top of the population dynamics and expand it to look at all sorts of different behavioral aspects in community ecology. For more information about postdoctoral fellowships at the National Institute for Mathematical and Biological Synthesis, visit our website at www.nimbus.org.